Hey everyone, this is Jean. So today I'll show you how you can make mini note cards with your Silhouette Studio program using print and cut. And these note cards are the size of a credit card and I like to put them in my kids' lunch boxes, um, sort of as a surprise note from mom. So let's start. So I am using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, but if you don't have the Designer Edition and just have the regular Silhouette Studio program, you can still follow this tutorial because I am using a graphic set and not an SVG. So I have um, set the paper size to letter size because I will be printing and cutting from a letter size page. If you are using a 12 by 12 papers, just set it accordingly. And to start, I have used this rectangle tool to draw a rectangle that is the size of a credit card or um, 338 by 218 inches. So the graphics that I'll be using today comes from Lettering Delight's Honey Bunnies um, collection. And these are designed by Nancy Kubo. I will be using this bunny. I'm just going to drag and drop. And it comes in really big, so I will have to resize it. I'm going to lock the aspect ratio and change it to 1.5 inches tall. So let's just zoom in a little. Now because this is a graphic set and I want to make an offset, I will first have to trace. I'm going to trace this bunny using the same method that you have seen in my other print and cut tutorial. Just uncheck high pass filter and pump up the threshold all the way to 100% and click trace outer edge. Now I need to make an offset so I will select the trace and click on the offset button and I am going to set the offset to about 0 0.07. I will hit apply and I'm going to do it one more time offset and this time I will set the offset distance to 0 0.085 and hit apply. I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm going to group it just for now and move it to the side. Like that. The next step I will draw a rounded corner rectangle. This is for the note section. And I will draw some lines and making sure that it is not slanted by looking at the indicator on the left. I'm just going to make maybe four lines. So I will select it and do a Ctrl C, Ctrl V, V, Ctrl V. So Ctrl V, cut and paste for uh, three times and I will align these lines by selecting all and go to the aligned window and say align right. I'm going to group it by using Control G on my keyboard and holding down my shift key I will click on this rectangle and align the lines with the rectangle by clicking on centralize so that the lines are now centered. I'm going to move the whole thing closer to the bunny and I'm going to make an offset of this rectangle and the offset distance I will set it so that it is as close to the width of the um, credit card rectangle the outer rectangle as possible so I think I don't have to make much of an adjustment here I'll just click apply okay I'm going to group the whole thing by selecting um, the two rectangles with the lines and holding down Ctrl G to group it. I just selected the rectangle with the lines portion and I'm going to click align right and I will align the bunny. I'll move the bunny and I'm going to Ctrl A and align the whole thing on the bottom so now it looks so much better. I will do a Ctrl A to select everything and ungroup by using Ctrl U and at this point I really don't need the outer rectangle anymore I can just select and delete it 
and I will select the offset, the outer offset of the rounded rectangle and the bunny by holding down the shift key, you know the drill and I will do a right click and select weld so there is this dot over here which will be a cut um, you can leave it alone or um, do a right click and select release compound path and now you can select and delete that away so at this point you can see the shape um, the basic shape of the note card so now I just need to fill in the colors so I'm using the honey bunnies background papers I will use paper one and I'm just going to drag and drop onto the mat into the shape and now it is actually on the top layer I will right click and send it to the back next I want to fill this section with white so I will select the inside rectangle click on fill color and select white I will also like to outline this bunny with white so I am going to select the offset and once again fill the color with white this time I will have to right click and send it backward so that the colors of the bunny show I want to change the colors of the lines as well as the line style so I'm going to change it all to dotted and I will increase the line thickness to 0 0.5 otherwise it will be too thin to show when you um, when you print it and make sure that this box on the bottom is checked so that the lines will actually print all right I want to change the color of these lines so I will go to line color and change it to black so before sending this to cut make sure that the correct cut lines are turned on so I will open the cut style window I just did a control A to select the whole thing I'm going to set it to no cut and then I will come back and set only the outer edge to cut like that so now I can close the cut style window and it is time to fill my page so let's um, show the registration marks and you can fill up the page manually by just doing a control C and a control V and filling it manually or let the program do it for you open the replicate window and somehow my last um, fill page button isn't showing but it is the last um, option here if I click on it it should fill my page let's try that okay and actually for this image if you filled it manually you can actually squeeze in one more um, but if you want it faster just let the program do it for you so at this point you are ready to send it for printing and cut just follow the instructions after clicking on this button and you're good to go all right so if you want to see pictures of um, this note card just go back to my blog under cherrytree.com find me on Facebook just look for under cherry tree all right thanks for watching this video bye